Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Smojo on my Jade character, Carolina, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can be a Jade wizard just like me with completely free gear, okay? No money spent at all, you know what I mean? And you could be a really good Jade wizard um, without the, the original Jade gear. So let's get started. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Jade Gear actually is, Jade Gear is a uh, is a gear in the game that you can only get from packs that has the best universal resist possible. Um, you have to spend money on it though, which is why a lot of people are kind of against it because it is kind of pay to win. Uh, which is why I'm making this video to tell you you can stop spending money, you can still be a good ass Jade. If you guys are interested in the stats that you'll be rocking with this free Jade Gear, it's pretty simple. You get about 70 universal resistance. You get a little bit of accuracy, 13 accuracy. Um, and your power pip is 106. Now, disclaimer, uh, there might be better gear out there than this, but this is the gear that I found when I was doing my research a while back. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm rocking, why I'm rocking it, and how you can get it yourself. To achieve these stats, my friend, I am using a gear that is called Bone Mashers. I'm using a Croctopia Royal Fez, all right? My, uh, my robe is the Croctopian Royal Cloak, and my boots is called the Bone Masters Rattler Shoe. If you guys are interested in the gear I'm rocking, I'm using a Croctopian Royal Fez for my hat. For my robe, I'm using a Croctopian Royal Cloak, and for my boots, I'm using the Bone Masters Rattler Shoes. Uh, for some more resistance, I'm using the Heartstone Amulet, or a Thane. Uh, it's not really an Amulet. I'm using a Heartstone of Thane. Uh, for my one, I'm using the Shid Staff. Uh, for my Amulet, it could be any Amulet with resist. I use this one, but there's plenty of amulets that you resist um in fact i could get even more resist if i was level 140 i'm only 130 so you know just add a nice little five to that for you know 78 pretty much 80 percent universal resistance uh if you are level 140 in ice wizard i guess you could say and for my ring i'm using the uh hathi's victory band there's another ring out there which gives three percent universal resistance i am too lazy to go get it but just keep in mind that there's a ring out there that's completely free that gives you two more resists. So to be honest, if I were to have the best of the best gear, I will have 80% universal resistance with just completely free gear, along with my 13 accuracy and my 106 power pip, which is pretty damn good. Now, when it comes to the gear, the way that you get this gear, uh, the Croctopian Royal Fraz, the Croctopian Royal Cloak, and the Bone Master Rattler of Bones, all of these drop from Exalted Duels. If you guys don't know what Exalted Duels are, Exalted Duels are little uh, dungeons that you can place down in your house. You get four people together, you go up to the dungeon, you press x is pretty much just like going into a regular regular dungeon you go on that die you complete that guy and you hope that you get the drop that's pretty much how it goes now there's two separate rattable uh, there's two separate exalted duels that you'll need to do uh one for the bone mashers and another for the croctopian since they're two different ones uh for these two the hat and the robe you're gonna have to do the croctopia exalted duel and for the boots you're gonna have to do the rattle bones exalted duel now to get these exalted duels you can they pretty much drop from a, a lot of places but the main place that i would farm is Mirror Lake, which is in Zafaria. The main reason why we'll farm Mirror Lake is because not only does it drop these doors, it also drops a whole bunch of other shit. It drops, uh, it drops snacks. It drops some some energy gear. Like it's it's like your main place to farm if you're looking for just an, a, a wide variety of items that are just really really good. Uh, so I would farm that place. It's in Zafaria. It's called Mirror Lake. Uh, so yeah, another place that I would probably farm is Jade Ani because you can complete this battle really, really fast. Uh, since it's in, where is it? Where is it? Mushru. So, you know, he's pretty weak. You could probably one-shot him on the first round. Just do that over and over and over again for a few hours and you'll probably collect a few. And uh, yeah. When it comes to the staff, the Sid staff, this could be dropped in two separate places, but I would only do one of them, uh, which is dropped by the Elephant Spectral Guardian. That's a very specific name, but pretty much Mirror Lake, right? You can get this staff also in Mirror Lake. It's dropped from a mob in there. Hey, what's up, guys? For some reason, my recording stopped recording. Uh, I don't get it, so I'm here, you know, finishing the recording. It's weird. Just randomly stop in the middle of recording. I, I didn't even notice, so I'm here to finish it. So I think the last thing I was talking about was the Sid staff for my uh, for my setup. If you guys don't know, the Sid staff is, like, literally one of the best support staffs out there because it has 20% power pip, 13 accuracy, and it gives you a power pip, which is really, really nice. So in order to get this staff, as you can see right here, the Sid staff is dropped by two different uh, two different people, the Elephant Spectral Guardian and the Seal Skies Watcher. Now, the reason why I say you could use Mirror Lake is because the Elephant Spectral Guardian is actually inside of Mirror Lake. Well, it's inside of Shining Mountain, and Shining Mountain 
is inside of uh, Mirror Lake, as you can see. It says connects to Mirror Lake. So if you just farm Mirror Lake, you'll probably get this staff. You'll get the dungeons that you need to farm for the, the, the helmet, the boots, and the robe, which is really, really good. And I'm pretty sure there's like a shit ton of other stuff that drops there too. It's like an all-around just... The literal best place to farm in Wizard 101. Now, when it comes to the Athame, we're rocking the heart still uh, A lot of people say that it has the worst drop rate ever. However, it does drop, and you can actually farm this if you really, really, really wanted to. The heart still drops from Prince Gobblestone. Prince Gobblestone is currently inside of Colossus Boulevard, aka uh, the Gobblestone Castle. So you just go to the Gobblestone Castle. Here's a map of Colossus Boulevard. You go from the shopping district all the way down to the inn, and then there's the uh, the Gobblestone the Gobblestone Castle. So you just farm this guy a bunch of times and it's, it's Colossus Boulevard. So I'm pretty sure you could just one shot him whenever you wanted to. And you could, you know, you hopefully you could get it. Now I, I've, I've tried to farm this place and I'm, I'm, I got tired of it. I got bored. Um, I think I did it like maybe five, 10 times, didn't get the drop. So I just bought it from the crown shop. If you guys want to buy it from the crown shop, I highly recommend it, but this is for a free absolute no money uh, build. So, I mean, technically it is free absolute, but if you want to spend like five bucks on getting this a thing, where, where is it? Where is it? Heart still a thing. It's, it's, it's what, what is that? $2 and 60 cents. So if you guys want to get that, I, I recommend it, you know, just to save you some, some time. But if not, then I understand. And I, I assume you're just going to go out there and, and farm. Now, for the rest of my gear, uh, for my amulet, I'm rocking the Lufli, I don't know how to pronounce that, Eternal Chain. Um, and I get this from Omen String Beam. It's a pretty easy drop. You can see how many I have here. And I've definitely deleted a lot of them. But I have a, a bunch of his chains. Now, I don't recommend this chain. Only I'm rocking this because I'm level 130. If you are level 140, you can get this one, which gives you 5% more resist, which is a lot better than the one that I have. But I'm not 140. So, But if you're 140, I definitely rock the Uber ring. And everybody knows where to get this. It's in Carol Caramel. So... Once you get there, get this guy, and you'll be you'll be you'll be set. Now for the ring, I'm rocking the Hades Victory Band. Not really sure where I got this. However, I wouldn't actually recommend this one. I'd recommend the three percent Universal Ring, and uh, that is called the Elise Chill Band, which you know he's, here it is gives you three percent uh, Universal Resistance, and it's dropped by a bunch of freaking mobs. Most of these mobs are inside of Zafaria. As you can see, this one's inside Zafaria. If I go back and click on another random one, this one is inside Zafaria, so this this ring pretty much drops from a bunch of mobs that are just inside of Zafaria, so I mean, if you just go around beating up a bunch of people in Zafaria, I'm pretty sure you might actually get this ring as a drop. Now, for my pet, I'm just rocking a Proof to 5 with the uh, Selfish Talents on it to give me that 21 Universal Resistance. If you guys want to, you can rock this. Excuse me, sorry, my nose is stuffy. Not rock this pet, but you can rock another pet um, so you can get the set bonus. Now, this pet does have a set bonus on it. Uh, and that set bonus is an extra 3% universal resistance. And I would, I would put this pet with the wand. Uh, if you really, 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 really wanted to. I'm going to show you guys right now. Because I do have the wand on me. There's two pets that have this. This is the second pet. So the first pet is a Road Furrier set. And then the second one is a Cold Rider set. And you need to have matching wands for this to actually work so keep that in mind and the uh the 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 one that goes with this pet is the road legend school so if i equip this then i get uh, you know i get my set bonus of an extra three percent universal resistance and my resistance goes up to you know 77 instead of 74 now the only reason why i usually don't do this is because i need my um I need the the power, I don't know, I need the power pip and I need the accuracy from the sit staff which I love so very much. So that's the main reason why I don't do it, but if you if you want to be bold and and you know do that and lose that accuracy and power pip from the sit staff then go for it if you're all about resistance, you know what I mean? Um but yeah, and for my deck, I'm just using the the Lufra's piercing pack. You can pretty much use any deck that gives you a triangle slot so you can socket either power pip or accuracy on it. Um, it's really up to you. All of these don't really matter. I would literally just look for something that has a triangle slot and just and just roll with that. Um, and I, I believe earlier I said that uh, you could use the Bone Mashers Rattler Shoes, which is a good shoe and it's pretty easy to get. Um, a lot easier to get than the Dragoon Icy Boots. Now, the Dragoon Icy Boots gives 1% extra resistance for Ice Wizards. I'm not sure about any other any of the other schools. Uh, I think this is just 13 for every single school, but... 
the resist might be lower if you're like a storm wizard or a fire wizard or whatever but if you're an ice wizard i recommend getting these boots because a they give more resistance b they give more health c they give more power pip and b they're just all around better than the bone masters rattler shoes so i would definitely rock these over any other shoes in the entire game if you're an ice wizard you're looking for just pure absolute resistance now i think that's i think that's everything i think that's everything that i covered um if you guys have any gear recommendations for me uh that's completely free where you could get a lot of resistance please let me know down in the comments and i'll check that gear out see what i can do now i'm gonna go over it one more time i'm rocking the croctopian royal fez you get this from the croctopian duel which you can farm in mirror lake i'm rocking the croctopian royal coat you could get it the same place you get the hat i'm rocking the dragon icy boots level 130 you farm the uh, trash monster and then you can craft these boots um everyone knows how to do that and uh, for my wand i'm rocking the sage staff as soon as i can there it is. I'm rocking a Sage Staff. You can farm this in Mirror Lake as well. For my Athame, I'm rocking a Heart Cell. You can farm this in Gobblestone Tower, which is in Colossus Boulevard. My Amulet, I would recommend the Caramel Amulet. You just get this from Caramel, just from fighting mobs, pretty much. Or you can craft it, I believe, in Caramel as well. Um, for the Ring, I will be rocking the 3% Universal Resist Ring. You just get that from killing a bunch of mobs in Zafaria. For my pet, Proof the Five Pet with a Selfish Talent 21 Universal Resistance is, is freaking amazing. Uh, for my deck, I'm rocking just any deck with a triangle slot on it just because it's good. And that's really about it. Now, my overall stats, I'm rocking 74 Universal Resistance. If I were to have the extra 3% uh, ring, that would be an extra 2% resistance. And if I were to equip this one, that would be extra 5. So that's an extra 7. So we're looking at 81 universal resistance overall with a completely free gear. 13 accuracy with, uh, what's my power pip? My power pip is 109. So, yeah. It's pretty damn good. It, it, it's it's pretty damn good. Now, I don't know if there's a way for me to just use the other one and still have good power pip accuracy. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But, uh, but yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video on how to get completely free J gear in Wizard 101 without spending a single penny. Um, if you guys have any gear that you think, hey, I think this gear is better than this gear, please let me know down in the comments. I will definitely check them out. I will definitely read it, and I will not eagle or ignore you, my friend. But, yeah, other than that, appreciate you guys being here. You guys are awesome, amazing, dope as fuck people. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, and peace out.